With five years of challenging milk prices in the rear view, U.S. dairy producers have much to be thankful for this year. Improving milk prices and other economic signals point to an optimistic year ahead, says University of Wisconsin dairy policy analyst Mark Stevenson. I think that we've had a difficult time maybe uh, experiencing optimism in the industry, but prices are more than a dollar higher today than they were at the same time last year. So people are beginning to feel like maybe we're on the backside of that. And I do think we are. Milk prices are extremely complex and include many factors, Stevenson says. Here in the U.S., the industry tends to primarily focus on milk supply and consumer demand for dairy products. Domestic demand today is very encouraging. It's the highest in more than 50 years. We've had some strength in our domestic demand for dairy products. Um, report recently from the Economic Research Service that showed we had higher per capita consumption of all dairy products than we've had in since I think 1965. So um, that's been a good thing. That increase is mostly led by growing demand for cheese and butter. Americans today consume a little more than 36 pounds of cheese per person, Stevenson says. We should continue to, to fight for all the sales that we can get in those product categories, but you got to look at the whole picture. Um, I heard uh, one person comment that rather than drinking our milk, now we're uh, eating our milk. While dairy exports have rebounded to a certain extent, Stevenson adds that milk supply has contracted and remained flat during 2019. Stocks of dairy products have also been diminishing throughout the year. American cheese, for example, usually peaks in June or July of the year. This year, our highest stock value month was in January, and we've been drawing down those stocks ever since. So that's an indication that that market's tightening up, and that's why we've seen some recent activity in spot markets for cheese prices. As a major player in the world dairy market, there are also global forces at work that can impact milk prices here at home. We're the third largest exporter, and so it matters um, what our overseas customers want in the way of products. And that's gotten complicated with some of our trade wars and a few other things uh, that have happened. And it also matters what our competitors for those sales into world export markets are. Trade policy, including the U.S.-Mexico-Canada agreement and conversations with Japan and China, will also have major impacts in the year ahead, Stevenson explains. For Holstein Association USA, I'm Miles Ramsey.